So let's try trinomials again, but when we have a GCF first. So we're still looking at factoring trinomials in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. So those four cases come into play, but this one is going to have GCF out first. So just a couple of examples of something like this. If I have this, 3m squared minus 33m plus 54. Well, I have a common factor of 3, so I'm going to factor that out first. So I have m squared minus 11m plus 18. First step, GCF out. Second step, let's factor it. So m and m, again, you're using those four cases. To go from 18 to 11, uh, let's see, we have a 9 and a 2, right? Same sign, both negative. And that's how we factor it out. Another example, if I have something like this, 4x squared minus 24x plus 36. And again, same thing. I'm not going to factor it because I have a common factor first. Let's get rid of it. So I take out the 4, which is common to all three, and this becomes minus 6x plus 9. Oh, and we did this one in the last video. Not a big deal. So x and x, factors of 9, 3 and 3, same signs, both negative. The other thing we can write it as, as 4 times the quantity x minus 3 quantity squared. Both are acceptable, no problem. And if I have this one, 3a squared b minus 15ab minus 72b. So let's first thing first, common factor. We're going to take out a 3 and also a b because that's what's common. Remember, divide, subtract exponents if you have to. Um, the 3 is gone, the b is gone. We have a squared minus 15 divided by 3 is 5, left with the a because b is gone, minus 72 divided by 3 which is 24. So what do we need to do? We need to factor this out. So this is equal to 3b. We have an a and an a. Uh, factors of 24 that get me to 5. Oh, 3 and 8. Again, let's look at our signs. Opposite signs, bigger factor negative. And we're done factoring.